on you guys it's your boy alex was collects here bringing you the most in-depth action figure views here on youtube and today we're taking a look at wwe mattel legend series 21 we have jimmy hart and the iron Sheik. these are exclusive to target so that is the only place you're going to be able to find these figures so we already reviewed hulk hogan and andre the giant from this wave we're going to wrap it up with these two figures as well as a full ranking of the set so speaking of this wave, if you guys are not aware, this is the first wave to pay homage to the 40th anniversary of Hulkamania. Andre the Giant, the standard version, was based off of his WrestleMania 2 appearance. Um, and then you did have the Chase version, which was uh, based on when he tagged with Hulk uh, during Saturday night's main event. As well as the debut look, heel look of Hulk Hogan uh, with the white attire. Uh, Jimmy Hart, I believe, is based on his WCW run. Uh, where he was Hulk's manager, and we have the Iron Sheik. This is based off of when Hulk Hogan defeated him on January 23rd, 1984, the birth of Hulkamania. So all of these have some significant meaning to Hulk and his career, and it is great we are seeing them in the Legends line. I absolutely was super excited for this Jimmy Hart. Uh, I know we've gotten quite a few Jimmys from the Mattel line, but this is like a Hulk specific. And I, yes, it definitely is a WCW. You can see the WCW logo on his jacket. So uh, pretty awesome to have Jimmy Hart here. Uh, the Sheik, also another iconic moment. So for the longest, you know, Mattel has given us a few Sheiks. I believe there was another Legends figure in the long pants. You had that two-pack version that came with Nikolai Volkov. And the Retro Fest version, I know there was maybe a basic somewhere in between. Uh, so I had all those figures at one point, but I kept upgrading to the best version of Sheik. And I believe the Retro Fest is what I have in my collection. But I think this is going to be the better version. Again, this is just from a very specific, iconic period. Uh, unfortunately, he does not come with those clubs. I would have liked to have them included here, but... It does look pretty awesome. You will see the new style for the Legends packaging. Uh, the slimmer style, we did go a little more in-depth uh, with the prior review with Hogan and comparing the old uh, with the new style packaging. Again, it is slimmer, but I do like it. I do like you can still see the full figure here. The accessories are a little hidden, but if you really were curious and were not you know, educated about this product, you can kind of peek in there and see the other interchangeable hands uh, tucked behind the packaging. But love the little name plates here. Love the Legends logo. And if you guys can see, the carding is specific on the back to each Legend. So you'll see Jimmy Hart. And there's a silhouette of Jimmy. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting here. But there's an image of Jimmy Hart behind him. You get an image of Sheik. What a nice touch. The Mattel packaging team is second to none. They really do great work. Um, and take a look at the side. You will see the images of each wrestler as well as the same image on the other side and again kind of like a diagonal kind of cut here on the bottom in the back you get the same images plus the read up and the other figures in the wave let's come back at jimmy and the iron sheik out of the packaging up first we are taking a look at jimmy hart so he does come with a set of interchangeable mic open holding hands with the other one holding the megaphone on the figure you also do get a set of pointing hands with the other one also on the figure Additionally, we're gonna we're gonna zoom in. You can see he does come with this megaphone that does say Hulkaphone on there. If you guys can see, that looks really nice, molded in the red plastic with the Hulk Hogan font on there. On the other side, you will see the same kind of design. So this is the third Jimmy Hart we've gotten from Mattel. There was, I believe, the Hall of Fame figure with the white jacket and the red hearts. Then we also did get that Royal Rumble build a figure with the, uh, I think it was a pink coat. I do have in my collection. We'll bring them in for comparison's sake. Uh, but look at this attire. This, without a doubt, is one I wanted the most. This is based on his WCW run. You can see it on here. We're going to zoom in for you guys to so get a close-up at all this airbrush goodness. You can see the stars with the red and uh, kind of yellow uh, going down his sleeve. On the inside, more of a pattern here. They are double-jointed, pinless elbows as well. Let's get this megaphone out of his hand. Look at the side of the jacket. You will see the WCW logo. It says Hulk. Got the stars on here. On the uh, lower part of his legs, it says Hulkster all the way down, brushed on there with a nice star pattern as well. You can see even the stars are on his tie. He does have the red, kind of dark red shirt underneath. Uh, you can see the inside of the jacket is also painted red. Taking a look at the front of his pants. He's got the red shoes even. And on the side, it continues. It also does say Hulkster here. That looks really good. I absolutely love it. On this side of the jacket, you'll see the image of the airbrush Jimmy Hart. That just looks so badass. The mouth of the South. Take a look at the back. You have this awesome image of Hulk with the WCW logo. This is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. I think it just came out so good. He also does have these pair of sunglasses with, on the smiling head scan, I believe. I think the Hall of Fame one had kind of like that screaming scan, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But the glasses are removable. 
It's got a great likeness to Jimmy Hart. You will have that big head of hair on there, slick back. This came out so good. I feel like this is a figure that's not going to be talked about for like figure of the year candidate, but it is freaking toyetic as hell. Look at all this airbrush design. I mean, Mattel knocked this out of the park and I'm not even going to hold my breath. I'm going to say this is the best Jimmy Hart that Mattel or any company has ever made. So here we have all the Mattel Jimmy Hart figures. So we have the Hall of Fame figure here on the left and the Royal Rumble Builder figure on the right. You will see they both have the opens kind of screaming scan. This is a new head scan. I didn't even realize it. It is just more of a smile. Uh, I really like the look of it without a doubt. I mean, these are all really great, but I love this new Hulk Hogan WCW run Jimmy Hart for sure. And what good does it do to have a WCW Jimmy Hart without some WCW Hulkers to pair with him? So on the left, this is a custom elite I put together. Uh, this is just the Legends 18 shirt and uh, bandana with the Hulkster weight belt from that same figure. On an Elite, the head is from an Elite 96 Hulk, so I paired that together just for some kind of an in-ring look. Uh, we also do have the Legends 18 here in his kind of like street gear with the WCW title. And here's an ultimate I put together. This is the Fan Taker Ultimate with the uh, accessories from this Legends figure. And they all look really nice with this Jimmy Hart. Definitely will be awesome for either display or figure photography. And while Jimmy Hart's attire is not accurate, if you guys wanted to pair him with the Mega Maniacs, uh, remember this was a, a Jax Classic 3-pack. I uh, would love to see that version of Jimmy Hart released down the road. I feel like it just makes sense. Next up, we have Sheiky Baby himself. Rest in peace to the one of the greatest of all time. Uh, absolutely love the Sheik. This figure looks so great. Uh, you get a bunch of interchangeable hands with this figure, so you will get a set of these open hands for Sheik. You also do get a set of pointing hands with the other one being on the figure as well as a set of mic open holding hands. The only thing I feel like is missing from this figure, obviously uh, Hulk Hogan defeated him to become uh, the WWF champion at the time uh, and to really start the run of Hulkamania. I wish he would have came with that big green belt. I really would have put it over the top. Uh, but you can see he does also come with a headdress, which is removable. Nice detailing on here. I love this figure. I love the set so much. It's just so nice. You can see the nice design here with the black on the top. This robe also was teased at uh, WrestleMania Fan Access last year uh, at the Mattel Design Center. And uh, this just came out so nice. I feel like Mattel soft goods, especially in this set, has just been so good. I mean, that Hogan cape and Sheik's robe. Just look at the gold. It really does pop. Look at the designs on his arms here. Nice color uh, on it. Looks kind of like a mustard brown. Uh, it really just has a vintage vibe to it. I really do like it. Uh, and it is easily removable. Nice and soft. Just looks great on this figure. And then you get Sheik with this really big torso. I know a lot of people are saying this would be a good torso for like a later run Hulk Hogan. I still don't think it fits. I feel like this is... Perfect for Sheik. He always had those abs, but a big gut to go with it. Just a very unique body. Uh, and look at the traditional Sheik mustache on this head. I really do dig it. I don't know if this is a new head. I'll be totally honest with you guys. It could be uh, like a, a redone version of the original, but it does look really good. Such a great likeness to Sheik. Absolutely love it. Uh, the eyes even just scream Sheik to me. You can see he does have the camel on his tights. Now, I believe his tights were red. I don't know. The proto image showed it them to be orange i don't know which is accurate to be honest with you guys i want to go more closer to the red uh but he does have the pin legs that is a little unfortunate i don't really like that uh, like i said a lot of these legends figures do have them i wish they were pinless but he does have your chic uh boots here you can see the camels on there uh with the sword on the inside it's got kind of like a navy or excuse me like a light blue to it uh you can see the red on the outside he does have the socks coming out underneath this just looks so good it just screams chic i absolutely love this figure for your Iron Sheik comparison, so on the right, I have what I thought for the longest was my favorite and best Iron Sheik made by Mattel. This is the GameStop Retro Fest exclusive. You can see he does have a different head sculpt versus the Legends 21. More of a kind of jokey head, thicker beard. He did come with these clubs that he used to work out with and cut his promos or do his training videos. You can see he does have the orange trunks on underneath versus the red. It is the same body mold, uh, same legs. You can even see he does have the Sheik boots on underneath. Uh, very different, but you can see how far we've come. Look at the difference in the robes. Like This looks like it's kind of like 3D. It's like really a thick stitching on here versus kind of just like that gold trim on this one. And it could be just a difference in the design of the robe. Maybe they were just a little different. But even look at the detail on the headdress. Like, look at how the sculpting is. You can see the lines on this versus kind of just like these kind of squished up lines on this one. Now, we're going to remove both of these headdresses off. 
and you can get a look at a better look at these heads like i said this is more like of a jokey kind of happy looking chic this is more the pissed off heel of the 80s the iranian bodybuilder uh the one that everyone hated i absolutely love the chic uh, i think this is the best version made uh, I definitely would love to grab another one for my collection. I just, I'm blown away. This is just a very fun figure. Both are great. Um, you know, it'd be nice to get on the clubs with this figure too, but I guess you can only ask for so much. Both are great. This one's not going anywhere in my collection, but the new Legends 21 is just really, really good. A few more Sheik comparisons for you guys. So we have Sheik with his manager, Classy Freddy Blassie. He does pair really nicely with this Legends figure as well. And the very last comparison I have for you guys today, what started all on January 23rd, 1984, Hulkamania was born when he defeated the Iron Sheik for the WWF title in the big green belt. I would have loved to have this with this figure, but uh, if you guys were curious to see what it looked like, this really will complete the Sheik and uh, one of the biggest moments in wrestling history. If you guys have enjoyed this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow, and I love interacting uh, with all you guys and, you know, sharing my passion for these wrestling action figures. If you guys don't mind, please turn on those notification bells to stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel. Uh, as far as these two figures go, I will say Legends 21 has been a very fun set to unbox. Uh, so we're going to start with the Iron Sheik first. I love this figure. I There's there's no real complaints. Uh, if I can nitpick is I wanted more accessories with him, but I feel like we got plenty. You get the beautiful headdress. You get this beautiful robe. I do have an extra uh, green world title to keep on there, so I definitely will keep this on the Iron Sheik to pay tribute to him. Rest in peace to one of the greatest of all time. Jimmy Hart, I love this figure. I feel like this is going to be one that's slept on. It is just so good. Uh, I love all of the air brush detailing on his jacket on his pants even on the back it just came out so good i love the head sculpt it's like jimmy hart has been shrunken down and put in your hands here uh this is another one i feel like i definitely want to get another one just to keep because it's just so good uh both of these figures are great i cannot highly recommend them enough uh, but you know what? With this being the second and final video review of Legends 21, I want to bring the rest of the figures from the set and rank them from my least favorite to my favorite. So here we have the full set of Legends Series 21, and I'm not going to lie... Uh, this was a very, very good set. This is going to be very difficult for me to rank. Uh, it's just all these figures are so good. And I know I'm going to put some at the bottom and be like, man, it's a great figure. It shouldn't be in there. But uh, like I said, this is a very solid set. Do not sleep on this. This is uh, just a, a great set of figures. At number five, I'm going to go with, oh, this pains me, the Chase Andre the Giant. And I just, I don't want to say anything bad about it. It's just some of these figures are just a little better in my opinion at number four i'm gonna go with the standard andre the giant in the yellow again not a bad figure just a really tough set and man i absolutely i can't tell you how much i love chic and jimmy hart and this hulk hogan oh this is tough uh i think at number three i'm going to go with the iron chic and that pains me to say and put him at number three because i love this figure uh, but I guess we've just, we've seen so many Sheiks in the past that it is different and represents a very iconic moment in wrestling history, but for the most part, it is a repainted version. Obviously, the robe is plussed up. The headdress looks to me a lot more plussed up. The head sculpt is, like, perfect. Uh, so it pains me to put him at number three, but I think that's where I'm gonna go. Number two, I'm gonna go Jimmy Hart. Obviously, this is a Hulk Hogan theme wave. I love it. I think this is one that can be considered in the top 10 of figure of the year for 2024. I know it's very early, and I know Mattel has a bunch of stuff up their sleeves. Uh, but this Hulk Hogan is just so much fun, especially just a very unique look. Like, we've gotten so many red and yellow Hogans for them to do this version. Again, we did get this in the Jax Classic Superstars, uh, but I just feel like this is so much better. Uh, and I just love this cape. It just looks so good and so toyetic. I want to say this is probably one of the strongest legend set re uh, released by Mattel. What a way to pay homage to Hulkamania hitting 40 this year. Like, it's crazy to think about. And what a great idea, right? Let's let's release a set that uh, is important, iconic to the history of Hulk Hogan. And you get a lot of different eras here, right? You get some of the earlier days with Hulk Hogan uh, when he was a heel. You have G uh, the Sheik kind of just when Hulkamania started. You have the obviously such a history with Andre. Then even in the kind of mid-90s run with his manager, Jimmy Hart, is who is still by his side today that he's very loyal to him, still does a lot of signings at the beat shop. So I highly recommend all these figures. 
Don't sleep on them. Don't wait for them to get clearance. Out. Grab them. They are all very, very good figures. You need these for your collection. Anyways, I appreciate you guys checking out this video uh, review. Really do appreciate your support. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AlexWestCollects. Thank you all again for tuning in. I'll catch you all on the next one.